All right, so Damon, you're following that severe weather force this afternoon. Seems to be changing kind of just by the minute. So yep. what's the latest here in the region we're watching? Well, we're seeing that broken band of showers and storms rolling in right now. Okay. And it's going to keep on developing as it moves east and possibly intensifying. So that's the main story here and about. Yes, exactly. About a half an hour ago, we did see a tornado watch then get issued across the entire viewing area as the system continues to churn away. The atmosphere just has all those ingredients that could line up to produce a few spin up tornadoes. That's a classic thing you will see on the eastern side of tropical systems like Fred and hence the tornado watch that goes until 8 o'clock tonight. That's about the time all of this activity should finally be winding down and going along with that. Of course, there's that threat for heavy rainfall flash flood watch also for the entire area that goes until 10 o'clock tonight. So a little bit later as there could be some lingering precipitation, but this is all a situation. We have to keep watching the rest of the day and those skies have certainly been a little bit ominous at times. Definitely with a lot of cloud cover as we're seeing those bands of rainfall pass through. It's 77 out there with a dew point of 74. So downright tropical as we would expect with the system moving through and here we go. There's that broken line of showers and potentially a few rumbles of thunder rolling in. You can see how those showers are racing off to the north right now from Chambersburg through Hagerstown, Charlestown and down toward I-66 in northern Virginia. As of right now, there hasn't been any severe activity across the viewing area, but again, off to the east, all the ingredients could line up to intensify these showers and storms even more so as the center of Fred is going to be the main player here as this drifts north and east. It's going to take all of this activity with it, and we just have to keep a close eye on exactly where Fred ends up tracking and where that broken line ends up here over the next several hours. So hey, it's moving very quickly off to the north and northeast. So these showers are packing a bit of wind with them already. And like I said, if they get that spin going along with that, that's when you could spin up a couple of supercells and a few isolated tornadoes. So going to have to keep an eye on where and when those severe storms do pop up along that line. That possibility remains through this afternoon, and it looks like shortly after sunset, all of this activity is going to be out of our hair, and we should be good to go. Storm Prediction Center highlighting that very nicely here. The slight risk is still over the heart of the region, and there's a sharp decline with very little activity going on across southwestern Virginia. That's how quickly this system is going to be pushing its way through as we head to into the afternoon. There we go. Future tracker highlighting that broken line of tropical showers and storms. It's going to be over into Frederick, Montgomery counties and down toward the DC Metro here within the next couple of hours. Now, after that is through, there is still going to be some redevelopment of that rainfall and storm activity, but it's going to be going with the center of Fred off to the north and northeast. So we could end up getting clipped with a bit more activity as we get later into the evening, but that could be also just north of us toward the five to six o'clock hour. All that should be out of here by 10 o'clock as Fred drifts away and then into Thursday. Thankfully enough, we're going to catch some quiet time and we should be looking pretty good as we roll into the next day of the work week here. Just some rain entering back into the picture once we get Thursday into Friday. And of course, heavy rainfall is still a concern and we could definitely pick up local amounts of one, two, possibly even three inches the rest of the day today, but it's going to be localized. So that's why the flash flood threat is still out there. It's not completely widespread, though. It's going to de depend on where those storms track. And along with that gusty winds and a spin up tornado or two, not out of the question with any of that severe weather that could develop this evening. As we go into Friday and Saturday, still going to be a bit stormy, but we finally do start to end those rain chances a bit as we go into early next week.